guys, just wanted to make a couple quick videos on some stuff from Delta Math. Um, so the first one is going to be on this determining features. And the second one coming soon will be about how to do the graphing. These come from the 2.6 video questions assignment. It's not homework. I just needed a place to pull a problem from. So when you see that on there, don't stress about it. Just know, hey, that's where this came from. So all that being said, here we go. I'm just going to do features in this one. So here is my original problem. 2x minus 4, x squared minus 4. So the very first thing we want to do is we want to factor everything. And then I want you to notice what cancels, but we're not going to cancel it yet. So I'm just going to say notice what cancels. Awesome. So when I look at the numerator, those have a GCF of 2, and I get x minus 2. Underneath, x minus 2, x plus 2. So far, so good. Now, I notice what cancels. In this case, x minus 2 would cancel out of both spots. I'm going to hold that in my brain for a little bit. Because then, after that cancels, that's what my result is. So here we go. Horizontal asymptote. In order to get the horizontal asymptote, we to compare the degree of the numerator with the degree of the denominator. Our numerator degree is 1. Our denominator degree is 2. Notice I'm doing it from the very beginning. Otherwise, it would be 0 and 1. Either way, the numerator is less than the denominator. And that less than is important because that fits with something we talked about in our notes. Which that if that is the case, we get zero. Then, vertical asymptote. In a vertical asymptote, that comes from where is our denominator going to equal zero? Now, when I factored it, I had two sets of parentheses. But since one of them cancels out, remember canceling causes holes. Since one of them cancels, I'm just going to focus on the other one. So my denominator is x plus 2. Where is that equal zero? Well, that equals 0 when x is negative 2. So I'm going to come over here. In this box, I'm going to log that my asymptote is that x equals negative 2. My x-intercept. Okay, denominator equals 0 is done. X-intercept is where the numerator equals 0. Well, my numerator is just 2. There's no x in the numerator after canceling which means there is no x-intercept in this particular problem. The y-intercept, this is where I like to start focusing on what I canceled, because the y-intercept comes from plugging in 0 for x. So I've got 2 over 0 plus 2. That equals 2 over 2, which is 1. Now, Delta Math is super kind, and it lets me just see, or it lets me just type it in, but I technically probably would have to write it as an ordered pair if I wasn't doing it in Delta Math. Finally, the whole. And this one, for the whole, this is one that's maybe a little bit different. That x minus 2 cancels. x minus 2 x minus 2 is what canceled. So since x minus 2 cancels, our whole has an x-coordinate of 2. Then we have to figure out what the y-coordinate is. And so what we do is we plug in 2. So here we go. 2 over, the 2 we plug in is going to go in the x spot. So 2 plus 2 is 2 over 4, which is 1 half. So I'm going to pop this information in for my hole, which is a hole of 2, 0.5. Now I'm going to submit that. Click yes. Ta-da! Lots of great things happen in here. So you're going to give this a try. You have two of these to do on your own. 